Hello everyone and welcome to a new episode. In this one I'd like to discuss a little bit about asthma and taking prednisolone tablets to control asthma, which may be needed sometimes. So steroid, corticosteroid tablets can be used in asthma treatment, especially when there are a lot of flare-ups of the asthma. The asthma is really getting worse. It's to the point where it's not really well controlled. There's been some trigger. There's been a potentially a bad chest infection. Something has happened that's led to a very severe loss of control of the asthma and it cannot uh, be controlled with inhalers only. In that case, uh, your doctor may prescribe um, high doses of corticosteroids given as tablets to try to get hold of that inflammation in the airways and prevent future, future attacks. I have a question that I received on the channel which I thought was really, really interesting so I'd like to discuss it with you. So I'll just read it to you now. So if you're not watching the video, uh, you'll be able to listen. So Andrew is asking this question. My doctor is sending me to a lung specialist after I've been on a prednisone burst and also had an asthmatic reaction to allergy shots. I'm not sure exactly what the situation was here, but obviously there's been a, a trigger. I'm getting tested for a certain severity of asthma. And this was added to my Advair. But I'm wondering whether going off when going off prednisone is it normal to breathe better but still have some symptoms? So in this question, there's quite a, quite a few things. So obviously, just to analyze it a little bit, there has been a trigger. There's been a medication that was given, something that happened, and it caused the asthma to flare up. And then the doctor prescribed prednisone tablets. So prednisone is a corticosteroid. As it given as a tablet, it's a high dose of steroid. It's much more than you would get in an inhaler. And obviously that has had a significant benefit. So Andrew is feeling better after he's been taking these tablets, but it's usually a burst. We don't tend to give long-term steroids in asthma unless we really, really have to. So we try to avoid it as much as we can. So the reason for that is because high doses of corticosteroids given as tablets can have quite a few side effects in the body. So that's why we avoid sort of keeping people for, on these sort of steroids for too long. Short bursts are usually safe and they tend to control the asthma quite well. They bring everything under control and then we continue with the inhalers. But I wanted to just, uh, just touch upon this, this topic a little bit because obviously, why would someone give you these tablets? Why would you have to go on these tablets when your asthma is, you know, you're trying to control it only with inhalers? Sometimes the inflammation in the airways can become so strong that you're unable to get enough from just inhalers. You may double the dose of your inhalers, uh, for example, that can be the first recommendation your doctor may make if your asthma is losing control. But in some cases, you may have a generalized infections. For example, if you get a, a viral illness, you get influenza, you get COVID, you get something like that and your asthma sort of flares up dramatically. It's also because there's lots of inflammation in the body and that sort of carries on forward onto the airways to some extent and the asthma loses control. So in that case, just getting control of this systemic generalized inflammation with steroid tablets does help. Problem is, I wouldn't want someone to stay on these sort of steroid tablets for too long because, like I said, there's quite a lot of side effects. When you're going off the tablets, though, it's really important to mention that the effect of those tablets doesn't automatically stop. So this is something that's really misunderstood about corticosteroid treatments. And I think many patients don't know this necessarily. When you're getting a burst of steroids, so you're, for example, on prednisone, prednisolone, you're on 30 milligram, let's say 40 milligram for five days. The effect of the steroid actually carries forward into the future because the steroids are act in such a way that they activate these receptors in the nucleus, in the cytoplasm of the cells. So inside the cells, then those receptors go into um, the nucleus of the cells, the inflammatory cells, and they, they do activate certain genetic processes and these affect the way proteins are produced, inflammatory proteins are produced, for a longer period of time. It's not something that just automatically switches off. So in that sense, it's not like a bronchodilator that you take for, for, for your chest, for your breathing, where 
the effect weans off after 24 hours. In the case of steroids, because they have this mechanism of action where they go inside the cell, they activate some pathways there. Once you activate these pathways, that effect lasts a bit longer than the actual course of steroids. And I think that's a very important thing to say. So if you've taken the tablets that burst for five days, it's possible that you may have a longer effect that may last for a few weeks, which may be enough to carry you over the recovery phase of that chest infection, flare up, you know, this, until that trigger for the asthma attacks has gone away. So that's why we give these bursts. And I think it's really important. Now, obviously, when you're coming off the burst of steroids, you may be feeling better, but you may not still be feeling perfect. And I think this was the question that I got here because the issue was whether it's normal to breathe better, but still have some symptoms. So that can happen. Sometimes asthma cannot be perfectly controlled. And unfortunately, that's a bit of a tough one because then you need to really visit your doctor regularly to try to step up or step down your treatment until you find the right balance where you can actually have a normal life to the extent possible. But it is still possible to have some, some degree of symptoms even after that burst of steroids. It's not a magic cure. It will help you get things under control, but it's probably important to avoid you know, being exposed to things that you're allergic to. You know, it takes a bit of time for your body to recover after a chest infection. There can be a lot of things that may take a bit more time. So obviously you may feel a little bit better. You may still have some symptoms, but hopefully that will come under control in due course. Always, I would recommend, talk to your doctor, try to understand why certain treatments are prescribed to you and what you may expect. And I think if you have that conversation and you expect the good and the bad, it may be easier for you to cope with whatever's happening and to understand the rationale for certain treatments that are prescribed. I hope this was helpful. Like always, please talk to your doctor in your own specific case what, what it means for you to take certain medications such as corticosteroids, if they're needed or not. No two cases are the same. All the information that you find online, including in my videos, may not, not apply in your case. So do talk to your doctor, to your healthcare team. Go for a consultation. Don't wait too to long, especially if your asthma is flaring up. Don't try to think about improvising treatments. It's usually not the, the best approach. So if you can see your doctor, please do that. Thank you very much for listening. Hope this was helpful. If you have further questions, leave them in the comment section on the YouTube channel or you know, go visit the website toplankhealth.com and hopefully you'll find the information that you need. Thank you very much. All the best to you.